Hey everybody, I'm Andy and we are starting a YouTube channel for all my family and friends that would love to see what's going on with our life, what's around the US and see what kind of adventure and excitement we can get into, uh, especially for my kids. I'm sure they'll probably be my hardest critics and tickle me every chance they get, but that's all right. So uh, the YouTube channel is uh, Traveling Palmers. We also have a Instagram account, and if you like, you can um, log in or join our email, travelingpalmers at gmail.com. All right, so this is going to be season one, episode one, and take 67. I'll tell you what, talking to a camera and trying to put your whole life into a video to make it look easy. For some of you guys, uh, y'all YouTubers and other people that are making the, the videos for your family or friends to make these videos look flawless, <laughs> props to you. Uh, hopefully I can get to that one day. So anyhow, uh, we started on the 3rd of January and 2023, and the day is the 5th of January, 2023. Like I said, take 67, 69, I don't know. Uh, uh, we are, we started in, at Big Rig Friendly, RV resort in Casey, South Carolina, and I try to make videos and found out that my microphone was horrible. So we had to go find another microphone, and then I found sound like sound like boom hour on the camera. So, uh, like great. I mean, probably should have named it the Beverly Hillbillies or something. Anywho, uh, hopefully somebody can interpret my. Uh, dialect for y'all <laughs> i don't know uh well i have been we have been trying to i have been dreaming for the past four or five years to travel to us and uh, um and our as a rv life and well i have three kids a grandson and one on the way and all the kids are grown so let's do it right so we go and buy a we sell the house, everything we own, like everybody else. Um, we bought a 2022 Chevy 3500. I got the dually because everybody's like a 2500 can pull this or, you know, straight pull that, forward this, dodge that. I'm like, oh, I'm partial with Chevrolet, like the, what if, for whatever reason. And uh, But I wanted the dual wheel because like anybody with a wife uh, that says, when I ask, hey, honey, um, is there a chance that you might would want to get a bigger fifth wheel? Or... And then she has that wife smile. Excuse me, not a smile, a smirk. Hmm. So thank goodness that I got the dual rear wheels. And I really wanted the dual rear wheels for the sway. And because I'm pretty good, pretty phenomenal at uh, tag-alongs and bumper pulls. But I've never pulled a fifth wheel. And lo and behold, her and the salesman got together and a couple of extra years on the payments. And we already know, most of y'all know, that it is large. So thank goodness I got the dual rear wheel. And we ended up getting a 35 BK Bighorn Traveler. Yes, it is a whopping 40 foot. So as I watched the YouTube videos for the past four or five years, I tried to do all the do's and the don'ts. And I think that was probably one of the don'ts. Uh, some of you guys pull these rigs like there's nothing. I'll get to your level one day. Uh, I wish I would have stuck with a 30, 35 foot. Uh, but here we are, we'll figure it out. So this is uh, what we are working with. I kind of give you the best way possible of showing you the truck, there goes my truck. My hands are completely shaky. I guess I didn't get enough caffeine this morning. There we go. Put two hands on it. And then there goes the big horn. Ooh, that sun is bright this morning. Yeah, I can't even see. All right. 
very nice very nice camper on the inside and like i said this is uh our first take of the traveling palmers and yes it is kind of awkward uh trying to put my life in here uh but either way please like share subscribe send it to your friends family friends and let them join us because i am a bit of a adrenaline junkie and i have no idea what i'm doing and my wife is clumsy <laughs> yeah, she trips over her own shadows so i'm going to talk her into doing some more white water rafting parasailing bungee jumping that kind of stuff and uh maybe even skydiving we'll see how it goes some of you guys y'all skydiving think nothing of it me uh, i'm not sure if i'm going to bounce uh and i'm not worried about the refund if my parachute doesn't open you know <laughs> i guess i guess my daughter can she might go get a refund she loves me <laughs> so anywho Without uh, further ado, I'm not sure quite where we're going to go. Um, we're supposed to, everybody that asked us for the past month where we headed. And the only thing I had was from, we were staying at my mother-in-law's for a little bit and until we got everything uh, arranged. And I found an RV park, a big rig friendly, right down the road so we could load it. After that, I had no idea. I think the morning that we left, uh... I called, uh, we signed up for Harvest Host, and so far we, we've been at one place, which I'll, I'll fill you in on the rest of, on the next video, of where, we, where we've been, because like I said, due to technical difficulties. Um, yeah, so uh, I'll fill you in where we stayed and where we're at right now. Well, let's go ahead and say, we are in Dufunic, Florida, right now at a couple's, uh, harvest host site and i'll tell you it had the pet these last these two sites the first two sites we've been through has been amazing and it's uh, phenomenal views i'll get some videos i'll put on here of what you're seeing and i'll go ahead and put in the uh, the uh, i'll tell you the uh the rv life they have the i don't know what you would call it the rv gods i don't know they have no mercy they you know uh, all the youtube everybody that i've been watching is like you know watch this you know when problems happen just be prepared for it it's, i figured you know i had a couple of days no they got me day one we done had a poopy doopy uh <laughs> incident thank god it wasn't too bad um and little problem inside the camp uh the bighorn traveler i don't i don't know if it's a manufacturer defect or if it's a south carolina roads because south carolina roads i i'll no, tell you i'm a i'm a 13 year veteran and i have spent about uh about four years in iraq off and on between the deployments and i'll tell you i think i've seen roads ied roads that weren't even better south carolina potholes and then we go into Georgia. Oh my gosh, you feel like you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't need a milkshake in that thing. That thing is just bouncing. <laughs> and surprisingly, on Alabama, Alabama, I give y'all props for your roads, or at least the interstates that we came down. They were smooth. So, anywho, um, that's kind of what we got going on. I'm going to try and post uh, two, maybe three videos a week um is what i'm hoping for and but i'll at least have one main video up every saturday morning for y'all wake up and i'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty comical so <laughs> it's uh it'll be like a cartoon network for you adults if you will and all right and i think i pretty much covered up what we're doing um just to kind of recap we're traveling the U.S. and a Chevrolet, a Bighorn with a adrenaline junkie, semi-adrenaline junkie, um, clumsy wife, and two dogs. Uh, I'm going to tell you, my, uh, the two dogs, you'll see them later. Uh, one of them is a fem female German Shepherd. Uh, her name is Sadie Grace. And my wife's dog, Chug. He is uh, a Chihuahua Pug mix and... 
but he looks more or less like a pug, so he looks like a, he's a year old, he looks like a grumpy old man. I think my sister-in-law called him Walter, you know, the dude is a ventriloquist. I'm like, oh, that's that dog's name for now. So, anywho, uh, we're about to get hooked up and head to our next destination, which should be pretty interesting. And I'll give you a clue. The cage. All right. So, again, like, share, follow, and let's see where this goes. All right. Thank you for your support. Okay.